Okay, so hi my dudes. This is another behind the scenes video. I just want to quickly mention that this dude I've drawn the most, so he's been developed a whole bunch of times. I will show pictures throughout the video, just kind of, you know, so you know what he looks like. Because in this one, I don't really like how it turned out. I don't think it really looks like him as much as I wanted it to. Um, I know I'm drawing right now and I should probably be explaining that, but you, you get the gist. If you've seen the other ones, you know my process. Um, also, I did not know this because I didn't know that I wrote this down because I write stuff down. But this character, it's his birthday today apparently. So I'll show you a picture of that. There's a little thing that says his name and I've kind of drifted away from that because I don't like it anymore. <laughs> so I'm gonna cross that out. I need a new name for him, but the other stuff is kind of the same. I don't know. The longer you really think about your, how you want your character to be, you kind of decide and change things. So anyways, to the drawing, as you can see, I'm still, we're just doing the outline here. Um, yeah, so not a lot to say. I always mess around with the eyes because when I draw, I turn the paper a lot. I don't know if I've said this already, but I'll turn the page kind of to adjust to where my hand is instead and like digital you can't exactly do that because you have a drawing tablet and it's just facing the one way so when I'm trying to draw the eyes I always have to adjust them later because they're not aligned the right way because of just how I'm used to drawing them so we move a lot of stuff around but that is fine you can always adjust your art no matter what you're doing so that's what I did here and we're I moved so much stuff around in the rough draft because for whatever reason I couldn't get the head right. Like you'll see me working on this for a really long time. I was just unsatisfied with the way that it looked because then it, yeah, yeah, it looks, right now it looks dumb. But then I just left it because I was like, no, we're not doing this. So go down to the mouth. I know I don't have a lot of variety of like expressions at the moment, but this is my comfort zone and I was on time crunch because I was stressed with school but I promised that I would do this and I wanted to release it on Halloween which I got to do which is cool. So that's also why I didn't take a lot of time to just draw any other pose or any facial expression that was different so yeah this one's not as high quality as maybe my other stuff but I took the time to do it anyways so yeah that's all about that. I'm just moving the head around. I think at some point it looks relatively okay. I mean, of course, because I'll just keep adjusting it until I'm somewhat satisfied or I give up, but that's kind of when I'm some somewhat satisfied because I will just lower my standards a little bit. And then we're moving eyebrows. I don't understand exactly what I was doing for the concept art, because this is a concept art, because for the music, I don't know what happened. When I write my songs, I come up with a melody and then I kind of, you know, we pick a certain theme and we follow it. And so this one was Apocalypse. So <laughs> I was just kind of like, hey guys, it's pandemic time right now. Let's do that. And then that didn't happen. And then I thought it's close to Halloween. We'll do like a spooky something. And that didn't really happen. So now we just drew him as it is and that's how it is but it's fine okay because i just had to upload that's all i had to do and if i want to change stuff i can do it later like i've looked back on some of my videos and they're kind of cringe and i already put a lot of time into them but they're still kind of bad and i'd rather just put more time into them but have them be good rather than whatever the heck this is so I'm probably going to redo the music videos, like obviously I'm going to keep the music and everything, but I'm either just going to film something different, like a different way of doing it, or something, I don't know, I don't know yet, but we need to fix it because it is kind of weird right now, and yeah, so, plus I want this channel to be interesting, and so far I think it's kind of boring, so we need to spice things up. And yeah, all right. Anyways, back on topic. Okay, we're doing the eyelids. 
We're doing all the line art. That's, you know, how that goes. So I also was kind of lazy and I didn't use, okay, so there's like a little feature on the pen where you can, there's pen pressure. So the harder you push down, the more, like the bigger, the thicker the line you'll get and you know, vice versa. So, but I took that off and I forgot to put it back on, but I also felt like I, I feel like I remembered that I didn't have it on, but then I just didn't turn it back on anyways. But I was almost fine with it because look at you get some pretty clean line work anyways. The only thing that it does is add like a little bit more pizzazz if you want a little bit of variety in lines, which sometimes I want, but when I'm doing stuff like that, it just takes a really long time if I'm adjusting lines with all the different thicknesses. So we did this. It's fine. Take note, I did this in like two hours. So and then I was adjusting the little, that part of the goggles. Cause I don't exactly know where I came up with the concept of the goggles, but I kept the theme the same. It's been a year since I've created this dude and he still has the same type of goggles. Though I can show a picture. I think he has two different sets of goggles cause one of them's like kind of a mask type thing. And then there's another type. I can put a picture of that on screen. Um, but yeah, I don't even know. And this dude is one of my most developed characters at this moment just because i've drawn him enough times because you wanna well and i wouldn't know for sure but as far as i know when you're developing a character you kind of just get used to drawing them draw them lots draw them in different positions draw them in different facial expressions because it kind of like helps you decide the type of person that they're gonna be and yeah so since he was like my favorite character, he was gonna be like the fan favorite of my story that I'm writing. I was just, you know what, let's just draw him. So I did. And yeah, so yeah, I don't know. There's one picture of him that I drew that is like my favorite one, it's very adorbs. And that's kind of the one that I wanted to go with. So what you see here, the picture of him does not exactly look like him, like I said, but you know, we tried sort of. I kind of half tried because like I said, it only took me two hours. And that might sound like a lot, but when I'm really trying, if I have enough time, I will sit down for like five to eight hours and make sure that it looks the best that it possibly can. Just because it's kind of, you do it right the first time, you don't have to do it again. That's kind of what I'm going by. So, okay. So now we're coloring him and I'm trying not to reiterate stuff from the other videos because it kind of goes the same way every time, you know, kind of decide. Since I already had a character sketch, I already had an idea of what color everything was going to be, so, which is good. That's another thing. If you're going to like draw a character, you got to be consistent unless you're going to shift things over because obviously you can change things like I'm going to change his name, but you know, like when you draw, when you draw them and you're comfortable with how they look. Try to stay consistent. It's hard, but that's what comes with drawing them a whole bunch of times because then you just, you just, that's how it is. And yeah, so here I am. I think I'm creating a mask to color the hair. Yeah, which is very convenient because then I can just, once it's made, I can just color it in like that. Yeah, so there we go. And then sometimes there's some mishaps because it's really hard to get every single strand making the mask itself takes the longest but it's worth it in the long run so yeah and then yeah so this is all of the base colors after that i move on to all of the shading of course that's kind of how i have it I do rough draft line art base colors shading and then i kind of have like five is like highlights and stuff because sometimes I'll just add other details like you'll see in the end I'll add other stuff just because I can and yeah so that's kind of how I go about it because I don't really know what I'm doing even if it looks like it I've only been drawing for a year and a half so this is like the best that I can work with with the knowledge that I have and I'm kind of just trying to figure it out as I go along so that's what we're working with and then shading the eyes took kind of a long time because I was trying to figure out one thing that I didn't have 
an idea of is I didn't know exactly what eye color he had. <laughs> I didn't really know. So they're kind of like bluish purplish here. I don't know if I'm going to keep that or not because I've written so much stuff just like in point form on all of my other things, but nowhere does it say anything in terms of what color anything is. So I just had to kind of, I don't know, visualize it. But it doesn't really matter that much. Like I said, if I'm gonna redo everything, it's not gonna matter anyways. And no one's really gonna notice, except for the fact that I'm bringing it up. That's the only reason people are gonna notice. So, yeah. Now we're coloring these things. And I didn't listen to myself where I said, oh yeah, the next step will be shading. So I did whatever the heck this is. And then I kind of get rid of it later. But yeah. And then sweater. And I forgot to put these little holes because I was tired, but it's fine. And I put everyone in sweaters. I did that on purpose just because the first two, they were also in sweaters. And I was like, you know what? I can do what I want. He's gonna be in a sweater. So I did. And I honestly don't know what else to say about this dude, honestly, you know? Because if I find a way to put my story out there, and I'm trying right now, I'm not gonna elaborate on that because there could be some secret things, but I'm trying to find a way to put my story out there, and if I can, then that'll be how you find out more about this dude, but. Essentially, you know, that's all you really need to know, for now at least. He's kind of just a chill dude. And I said he's gonna be a fan favorite, so he's gonna be like that one, one favorite character, so. Or at least I hope. Because I don't know. Alright, so yeah, we're working, we're doing shading. I usually do two different layers at least of shading for the skin, just because, I don't know, there's some parts where I just feel like they're darker than others. I also don't know why I made it so dark right now, but the scene that I was kind of going for, which you'll see later because I made some background, which is really cringe because I did it on short notice, but picture an apocalypse. Things are on fire. Everything is like, there's smoke in the air and everything's all like messed up. So everything's kind of dark. So I made everything really dark, <laughs> apparently. But yeah, so. And then second layer of shading, like the darker layer, I like it just because it adds more depth. When you have one layer, it's like cool. But that's just how like with every layer of shading and not to say like you can overshade things. OK, you can overdo anything, but I feel like with every layer of shade, it just makes it more like almost realistic. So and I'm shading the strands of hair, which I know is not realistic in a sense like Unless your hair is literally just a chunk on your face, it's not going to be that thick of a shading thingamabobber. But I did not feel like going to the trouble of blending stuff. So I called it a day. So that's what we did. And then shading the hair is so fun. And I say that sarcastically and non-sarcastically because sometimes it's chill. But when you get to the top of the head, I just don't know how I go about shading it because I don't know the light sources for this. I kind of pictured it to the left, but like I said, if everything's dark, there's not really a light source, but there's still shade. So that's when it gets confusing. So then I did a thing and I thought, hey, this is a good idea. And then future me five minutes later thought, that's not, that, that, that was a dumb idea. So I got rid of it. Thank goodness I did because it looked really weird. And then I did things that I don't understand why I did them, but I did. And then I shaded the rest of the hair. I didn't actually add a lot of shine to this one. I only added a little bit to the goggles and a little bit to the eyes and stuff. I didn't add anything to the hair, but also what the heck am I doing? I'm just thinking back. This is about either a week and a half or two weeks ago when I filmed this and I'm just confused. But it's fine. It's chill. Okay, yeah, then we're shading the goggles, the band. I need to really elaborate. I didn't exactly know what I was going for. I need actual references. This is this character was 
created directly from memory, no reference material at all. <laughs> so I might have to start using some. See, so, okay, get rid of the weird shade thing. And then I work on that for a really long time. And I zoom out lots and, you know, how that works. So, yeah. And then I shade that a little bit. I try not to use blending, just because, I don't know. I like the flat lines of shading, because it really, I don't know. I just like the way that it looks. So with every time that I start blending, it kind of, when you have two different types of shading, because it, like, you either blend everything, or you don't at all because if you have a combination of the two sometimes it can look weird unless you do it specifically in a certain way so I just decided to pick this way like yeah and then I tried shading the sweater and it looked really weird for a bit um, and then I did that but it wasn't that bad it wasn't that bad Yeah, so shaded the strands and oh yeah, I forgot to color in the eyes. I forgot that even if they're just white, like you still have to fill it in. So I did, it's fine now. And then since the theme was apocalypse, I kind of, I don't know what was going on exactly, but you know, just kind of picture it, imagine it. You know, I don't know what, what he went through. Probably went through some crap. I mean, the story that I'm coming up with puts all my characters through a lot of crap, so w that would make sense. And yeah, and then I wanted to put some cracks in the goggles also for some reason. Like I said, I don't know why I did half of what I did because this is me from the future, so, but I did. I'm figuring stuff out slowly, okay? I just learned how to draw trees because I thought about a tree and I drew it because when am I ever using references, right? So, yeah. But it's fine, there we go, okay. That's it, that's, that's, that's the final product, you know? I don't know what else to say. Um, yeah, I've said a lot of the same stuff on the other two videos, so. Yeah, I would probably say the lesson here is when you're drawing, take your time. Do what you have to do. If you don't have time to finish it, come back to it later or take a note. Like if there's a certain detail that you think you might forget to add later, just write it down. Just write it down. Remind yourself and it should be fine. And yeah, so <laughs> that's all for that. Um, adios, my dudes, I guess.